Hey guys, welcome to 724. Uh, this is the Facebook group that I have created to help you guys uh, fix your credit. Uh, for the last six weeks, we have been starting with uh, step one, with, which having you um, order your credit reports. And then I showed you how to write letters to the credit bureaus. And then I showed you how to uh, uh, view the letters, what to look at, uh, how to respond. Um, so if we're in week seven, guys. Welcome to week seven. For those of you that have been going through the process and you started from week one, thank you guys for um, working through this with me. I know it's kind of challenging. And then, of course, I know it's, it's kind of hard to uh, write the letters or know if you're doing something right. So I just want to congratulate you guys and say continue the process. Don't stop because we are trying to gain a 700 credit score and the only way we're going to get there if we do the work okay so this week in week seven i want you guys to sit up and uh put your big girls panties on so um i know when we first started uh in unit one i asked you guys to save a thousand dollars remember that and so every unit, uh, I kind of briefly discuss the $1,000 to ask you to continue to save towards it. Um, I said that in a couple weeks, we're going to talk about what to do with that $1,000. So tonight, I want to, to go over some things that I want you to do with that $1,000. Now, if you have not saved the full $1,000, that's fine. That's fine. But I just wanted to go ahead and put something out there for those that have uh, saved the $1,000. They're sitting on it. They're waiting on me to put the content out so they know what to do with the $1,000. So this is for the ones that have the money and they want to go ahead and get started putting the money to work. For those of you that have not saved the $1,000, it's fine. It's fine. The video is here. So when you get ready and you have the $1,000, just come back to the group, watch the video so you can know what to do with the money. Okay. So let's get started. Um, I am here on my desktop. You see me, uh, the business part of Anginet Curry. Um, I want to give you a, a brief introduction of me for those of you that don't know who I am. My name is Anjanette Curry. Um, I am the owner of Prospective Vision Solutions, LLC, and it embodies three companies. Um, the first company is PBS Financial Coaching and Services, in which what we're doing tonight, this is part of PBS Financial Coaching and Services in which I provide uh, educational, financial education, financial literacy for those of you that need that. Okay, and then my second business is Anchors Bath and Body, in which uh, the purpose of that company is to provide uh, health ideas. Uh, I sell sea moss, I sell uh, bath, bath products, bath and body products, body butter, hair gel. Um, shampoo conditioners um hey i do it all and then the third company is the southern healthy Terrian, in which i provide a uh, healthy meal ideas healthy uh information um i research about you know what makes up a healthy body what we should eat what we should put in our bodies things that we should not eat and so uh i put that information out there on my anchors bath and body page so i have a personal facebook page which is anginette curry and then i have a uh two business facebook page one is um pbs financial coaching and services in which we have the uh group 724 um and then i have the anchors bath and body facebook page now if you know of anybody that would love to join this group that is trying to fix their credit tell them send them to us uh send them to me tell them to look me up uh pvs financial coaching and services or they can look up the group 700 in 24 700 in 
24 and they can find me on Facebook. Uh, so let's get started, guys. Um, again, I asked you guys to save the $1,000 and I'm going to go online and kind of show you because I, I think it's best for me to go through the process with you so you can actually see what I'm talking about instead of me just telling you. Um, I think I, I work, I'm, uh, aesthetic person so i like to look at things while i'm working i love to research and that's how um i learn and i pick up things faster that way um and so i'm gonna go here now the first step um i ask you guys to actually save that money into a checking account now, my favorite bank, I would say, is a federal credit union. It doesn't have to be Navy Federal. If you have a federal credit union that is around you, that's in your area, um, talk to them to see uh, what the criteria of opening a checking account in that, in that bank with that bank or with that federal credit union uh, because the purpose, the reason why I'm saying a federal credit union is because their interest rates are so much lower than you would at a regular uh, bank if you're trying to borrow money. Also, they are more prone to assisting you with loans, uh, starter loans, uh, uh, if you're trying to purchase a house, and then uh, if you use them to get a loan through them, the interest rate, like I said, is so much lower than any other bank um, or any lending institution that you may uh, go to. So the probability of you getting approved for that loan uh, is greater because of at a federal credit union. Now, um, the reason why I'm pulling up Navy Federal is because I want to go through some criteria with you guys to show you what it looked like so you can kind of understand um, it says you know just research I always tell my clients do your research do your due diligence don't take my word for it um, go online and do your own research so you can read up instead of you listening to me you can actually see what I'm talking about now, um, and see, it tells you about the home buying process, special offers and discounts they may have for you uh, for being a member who can join. Um, and it tells you to become a member. You are one or your family household members must have uh, ties to the armed forces. Who doesn't know somebody that's in the military that you're friends with? You know somebody that's in the military, and I'm sure all they have to do is just refer you so you can get an account. It's not hurting them to do this any type of way. All they're doing is just say, hey, I know Angie She wants to open an account. Give her one. That's it. You're just referring them. So if you know someone that's in the military, ask them, say, hey, I've been trying to get an account with Navy Federal. Uh, can you just refer me so I can open this account? And all you do is just hit join now. Um, and then it's going to ask you a question. And all you do is just say, I'm related. I'm related to a Navy Federal member if they have one. Um, um or I live with a Navy Federal member. Um, I have a family member who serves or served in the military. Now, if the person doesn't have an account, but you want to open one with Navy Federal, all you have to do is just click this. I have a family member who serves or served in the Army. If the family member, uh, a Navy Federal member, if they are, you click yes. If they aren't, you click no. Okay, and then you hit click. Uh, see, so it says you may be eligible for membership, and then it tells you what all you have to have. Okay, so guys, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. If you know somebody with a Navy Federal uh, Credit Union, or like I said, if you don't know someone that's in the military, or if you can't find anybody to vouch for you to help you get a Navy Federal Credit Union account, then find a federal credit union that's in your area and ask them what their criteria is. I know here in Vicksburg, uh, mutual uh, credit union, all I had to do was just live in, in Vicksburg, just live in Vicksburg. 
and and be a resident of Vicksburg and they let me open an account. I just had to show them that I live here. So just, you know, before you just count yourself out, just do your research, call them up, ask them what's the criteria of being a member. And I'm sure, I'm sure it's not as hard as you think it is. Now, that is step one. Once you open that account, and we're going to put that $1,000 in that account, okay? So once you put that $1,000 in an account, what I want you to do is go to the loan officer of that bank and tell them that you want to borrow against the $1,000. Now, they may sit down with you and ask you why you want to borrow the money, what's going on, you know, and just tell them, hey, I'm just trying to get my credit together. I want to buy a house in a couple of years or a year or so. And I, I just want to restructure my credit. I'm trying to build my credit up, raise my credit score so I can come back to you guys and get a house loan. How, how does that sound? And I'm sure when you tell them that you're going to come back to them or when you get your credit right to purchase, to get a loan, to purchase a house. Oh, they're going to do whatever they can to help you. Um, because they want your service and that's helping them because they're generating income they're generating money through you so they're going to do whatever they can to help you get where you need to be so they can give you that money because they're making money off of you also so it's a win-win situation they get to help you fix your credit in return you go back to them and borrow money all right so now once you get that $1,000 from them, um, there I don't know if, if it's actually $1,000. Uh, it may be eight something. Um, I don't know the fees that they charge. Uh, there may be an application fee. Uh, there may be some fees uh, to do that. But like I said, once you sit down with them and you talk to them, uh, ask them if, if there's fees. Um, if you borrow against the $1,000, how much money would you actually get? Uh, so that way you can kind of know how to work the money once you get it. Okay. So let's say that they say, okay, we're going to let you borrow the thousand dollars. Uh, we're going to give it back to you. And so the way it works is most of the time when you borrow the money, um, they make you make monthly payments. So every time you make those monthly payments, that, the amount that you're paying back, it's going to go back towards that $1,000, which means that they're going to freeze that $1,000. They're going to hold it so you can't touch it until you pay back the money that they let you borrow. Okay, so that's how it works. So every time you make a payment, they, they'll open up that amount. So if you're making $25 a month, if you're paying $25 a month, Every month, they're going to open $25, and you can use that. And then the next month, is, it'll be $50. And the next month, it'll be $75. So it'll go all the way up until you make all your payments. All right. I hope I explained that uh, better. If not, reach out to me, and um, I'll explain it more. So once you have the $1,000, we're going to um, get a secure credit card. And what I suggest is for you to Google uh, secure credit cards. That's what I did. I, I just typed in secure credit cards um, in the search box and hit enter and then it brought up one. Capital One is excellent. Um, I have a Capital One credit card and I think, let me see. Mine is a Walmart Capital One credit card, and the reason why I did that, I can also use it. I chose to select to where I can use it outside of Walmart, so it is a credit card where I can use anywhere, but if I use it in Walmart, I get a 5% um, refund rate, which means that whatever I purchase in Walmart, I get 5% cash back. So um, I shop at Walmart frequently and I buy groceries and things like that. So I've decided to use that card to buy my groceries and then pay it off every month. So I have a groceries account. So what I'm doing is the money that I selected on my budget to pay for groceries, I'm just going to funnel that to my Capital One card and I'm just going to buy groceries. Um on that capital one card every month 
and then just pay that money off every month. Pay that amount. Whatever I spend on groceries, I'm just going to funnel that from my budget and pay it off every month. So, um, and that way, that's working on my credit also. I get to buy groceries like I would normally do. I'm, I'm going to have to buy groceries anyway. So why not get an incentive to purchase groceries? And then I'm getting 5% cash back because I'm, I'm shopping at Walmart. So it's a win-win. And I always tell my clients, if you get a secured uh, MasterCard or if you get a secured credit card, Make sure it's not charging you by the month and make sure there is no yearly uh, fee or application fee that they charge you. Some do, some don't. So um, this one right here, it says secure MasterCard credit level rebuilding. This is the one um, that you need. Uh, refundable deposit of $49.99 and $200 gets you a $200 initial credit line. This is the one, guys, if you're trying to rebuild your credit, don't apply for these because you're not going to get approved. Uh, if your credit score is a 500 or lower or, or like a 550 or lower, do not apply for these two because you're not going to get approved, okay? So we're going to go here. If your credit score is a 550 or lower, we're going to get a secure credit card. We're going to take that $200. We're going to take $200 and we're going to apply it to uh, this card. And all you do is just hit apply now. And then it tells you annual fee zero. Hey, good. This is what we want. I don't care about this. You know, a lot of people look at this and go, hey, whoa, whoa. Look, we're trying to build our credit. This right here don't even matter right now. All right, so we're going to pay $200 um, from our bank account. So what you're going to need is your credit, your bank card, your uh, bank card, and you're going to fill out this information, okay? So you're going to put your first name, last name, date of birth, um, all this information there, and then down it's going to ask you, you know, how much money you make a month, all that stuff, and then... Um, you put all that in there and then you hit continue and then it'll take you to where you need to go. I'm not going to go through that because I'm not applying for it. I already got one, but I just wanted to kind of briefly show you guys uh, where to go and what to do. OK, so this is what we do with the secure credit card. Um, you're going to apply for this one and then um, we're going to go from there. Now, once you get this card in the mail. Like I said, you could do like I do. You can use it to buy your groceries with. But if you're only putting $200, uh, it's going to be 30% of whatever that $200 is. So we're only charging 30% of our credit card. So if your limit is, if you have a $200 credit limit times 0 0.30, so 200 times 0 0.30 is 60. So do not go over $60 a month charging on that $200, okay? Um, because they have what they call a credit usage uh, limit or credit usage ratio. And what they do is on your credit report, it, it, it boosts your credit it boosts your credit score if you stay under 30%. We always want to stay under 30%. Now, if you have credit cards and you know you're over the 30%, start paying on those credit cards. Pay as much as you can until you get those credit cards down to 30%. Okay, guys? Because that hurts your credit score too. I know a lot of people say when you get a credit card, you buy whatever you want, you know, as long as you're paying it off. No, stay under 30%. I don't care if you are paying it off. Stay under 30%. Um, you need to remember that. Always with a credit card, you want to stay under 30% of whatever your credit limit is. Okay? So what you do is if your credit limit is $5,000, you point, you do that 5,000 times 0 .30, and that's uh, your usage rate. Okay? So let's go $5,000 times 0 .30. And that's $1,500. So you're not supposed to spend but $1,500 a month. 
So let's go uh, $1,500 times 0 0.30. So you're not supposed to spend but $450 a month. So remember that, guys. Now, after we do that and we got the uh, credit card, so we have a secure credit card. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to sell lender. And we're going to open a self lender account. And the purpose of this self lender account is going to be the same purpose uh, as you would with a secure credit card. It helps boost your credit score. Uh, we're, we're talking about the people that with the 550, 600. If you got a 650 or lower um, credit score, then this is for you. This will help boost your credit score because while we're fixing our credit, we're needing to do some entities to help increase our credit score while we're fixing it so we're we're uh it's like a double-edged sword we're, like they say kill two birds with one stone we're killing two birds with one stone we're taking care of two things at one time so now you're gonna go to sell and what this does is it's like you're borrowing money so you apply for the loan that is held by their bank you pay it off the loan in 12 to 24 months. So what you're going to do, you're going to, they're going to, um, you choose what monthly payments you want. And I think the lowest one is like $43 a month or something like that. And I think it's about $1,200 a year, if I'm not mistaken. And then at the end of your payment period, they send all that money back to you. Okay. In a check. So you getting your money back, but what it's doing is, because you're paying by the month, you're establishing what we call a payment history. And with the credit um, companies or with lenders, they want to see what type of payment history you have. And so credit uh, self lender establishes payment history for you to make it look like you're paying on a loan. And then they report it to the to credit bureau to show that hey she's paying on this loan and she's paying you know on time she's paying by the month so she's being consistent which means that you can be trusted because you're paying by the month and you're paying consistently and you're not late now on these accounts never be late guys make sure you pay the money that you you said that you're gonna pay all right Make sure you pay this money because we are trying to fix our credit. We don't want anything to mess up our credit. So if you're not ready to do this and you know you don't have the money to do this, don't do it because um, you need to make sure you are paying this uh, because if you're not, um, it's going to hurt your credit score even worse. Okay, so. Make sure that you're disciplined enough to make the payments when you do this. So what you're doing, you're just going to enter your email address. You're going to click start building credit and then you answer the questions from there. You get to choose your payment amount, your monthly payment amount. And I think, like I said, the lowest one, I think it's like $43 a month. And then once you get done making those payments, what they're going to do is send all that money back to you. So it's just like you're you're creating a savings account but you're building credit too so you're doing both you're creating a savings account and then you're building credit too and then at the end of your payment um at your last payment they will offer you a credit card so you get to have a credit card with them too while they send your money back all right and that's why i recommend self on top of the secure credit card because both of them are strong companies both of them are building your credit and then they are allowing you to create uh, a great payment history in which the lending institutions that's what they look for okay now step three what we're gonna do we're gonna um become an authorized use user on somebody's credit uh, account so let me pull up
So the purpose of becoming an authorized user, and I know some of you probably heard of this before. People have probably mentioned this and you really don't understand what an authorized user mean or what's the purpose of an authorized user. So um, the purpose of being an authorized user means you're going to find somebody with excellent credit that has a, a 750 credit score or higher. And they have really good credit. They're good at paying their bills. Uh, they got stellar credit, you know, A1. So you're going to find that person and you're going to go up to them and say, hey, look, um, I need your help. I'm building my credit and um, I need you to list me as an authorized user. Look, I know it sounds crazy. I'm not even getting your credit, you know. You won't be giving me a credit card. I won't even have access to your credit account. All I need you to do is just call them and tell them that you want to list my name as an authorized user. So that way um, it'll reflect on my credit account that I have good credit. And and man, I'm telling you guys, um, make sure it's somebody that trusts you. Don't just walk up to a stranger or somebody you barely know and ask them that because they're going to look at you like you're crazy and they probably going to stop talking to you. OK, <laughs> make sure it's somebody that, you know, that know who you are, know you are a trustworthy person and know that they can trust you. OK, it could be your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, auntie. Just make sure it's somebody that trusts you and know the type of person you are. Uh, don't just, you know, walk up to somebody that you barely know and ask them to do this because like I said, they are going to unfriend you. Okay. So now, um, the purpose of an authorized user, and I wanted to pull this up so you guys know the purpose of it and you can give this to the person that you asked. So they can see, and also uh, YouTube has videos on explaining this, and they can explain it better. And you can sit down with the person that you ask and say, hey, this is legitimate. People do this. I, I actually know some people that are getting paid to um, be authorized agents, and people pay them to be authorized users. Like they pay $100 a pop. To become a hundred uh, authorized user, and some people charge like three hundred dollars. And what they do is they add people to their accounts because they got really good credit. They add people to their account for about three to six months. Um, and what that does, like if somebody trying to buy a house and they need to boost their credit score like forty points, so what they do is they'll find somebody with stellar credit and they'll ask that person. They'll say, "Hey." We'll pay you $300 if you could add this person as an authorized user because they need 40 points and we're trying to get them a house. Once they get approved for that house, you can take them off and we'll pay you $300. Who wouldn't want $300 just to do that? I mean, it's not hurting your credit any. It's not hurting you any. They can't do anything. They're, they don't have a card to your account. They don't have uh, access to your account. They can't call and make no decisions or anything. All you're doing is just putting them on your account for a couple months and you're making $300. $300. Guys, okay. Now, uh, like I said, watch some YouTube videos, sit down with the person, go over some YouTube videos with them so they can feel comfortable with you being an authorized user. Okay? Now, and it says to add an authorized user, contact your credit card issuer by phone or by logging on to online account. The card issuer will need the authorized user's personal information, which means that would be their name, address, date of birth, social security number to process the request. Again, make sure you ask somebody that trusts you and that you can trust. Okay, 750 or higher credit score. This is the person that you need to talk to and they got stellar credit. All right. Now, step four is we're going to add another um, 
secure a credit card. And the first one we said was a capital one. And then the next one can be a discover it. And the reason why I said discover it is because that's the card that I started out with first. And um, what they did, I made uh, monthly payments for six months. And then after six months, they sent me my money back. They sent me my money back. And then they raised my credit score. They raised my credit limit from $200 to $750. So um, I got my $200 back, my initial $200 back that I paid. And then they sent that back to me. And then they raised my credit limit to $750, guys, in six months. Six months, as long as I paid my account off. So, let's see. I think I went. Oh, okay. Let me go back. Let's go to Discover It. So this is it. So you go in and I want you guys to read this. I always tell my clients, don't take my word for it. Do your research. Do your research, guys. Um, you can enjoy 5% cash back, cash back match. And I do get cash back on certain things that I purchase. And what I do, I apply it towards my um, monthly payment when I pay it every month. So I just use it, and which means that it's actually paying for itself. <laughs> My card is actually paying for itself. So that's what I do. So guys, um, this is all I have. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know that there are some things that you could do to boost your own credit score. You don't have to pay anybody a penny to do this. You could do this yourself. Do your research. This is week seven. Okay, we got a couple more weeks to go. We're going to go to week 12 and then we're going to start. Uh, working on our financial game plan. So we're going to work up to week 12 and then on week 12, I mean week 13, we're going to start working on our financial game plan. And that is uh, a whole new entity on itself because it creates financial freedom. Uh, it creates um, uh, uh, other streams of income. Guys, um, in this 24 week, it is going to be amazing. Thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. Thank you for listening. I hope I helped with explaining some things to you guys. Uh, this is why we created, uh, we saved the $1,000. And I just wanted to explain it to you. If you have not saved the $1,000 or all of the $1,000, don't fret. You still got time. You got the video. You can come back to it whenever you want to. Uh, it's available to you. And for those of you that have the $1,000, it is here. It is available. Go ahead and get started working on your credit. Um, get everything together. Write a um, your goals down. Write a list down of the companies that you want to apply for and get started, guys. Um, thank you again uh, for tuning in to Unit 7, which is Week 7. Um, so we're we're putting that $1,000 to work. I'll see you guys um, next week, which is week eight. Um, and if you have any questions, again, reach out to me. I am available. Uh, you can reach me by email, which is anjanet, A-N-G-E-N-E-T-T dot curry, C-U-R-R-Y at gmail.com. Or you can call me at 662-372-6225. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. Guys, I am available however you need me. Um, if you have any questions, um, again, reach out. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed week. And I will see you guys in week eight.